This morning sold out. Coronavirus driving a consumer scramble for hand sanitizers, even bars of soap. What was abundant, now in short supply. Travelers. That's gold. That's gold. Especially cautious and prepared. What are you doing to protect yourself? Well, we got hand wipes. We're going to wipe down the seats and the, uh, we got some Clorox hand wipes and we got some sanitizers and we're going to do the best we can. Sanitizer so in demand it's even entered the run for the White House with campaign staffers offering it before a Joe Biden rally. The company that makes hand sanitizer Purell telling NBC News, we have dramatically increased production since the beginning of the year. What is available? Selling at a record pace. In one week alone, hand sanitizer sales increasing more than 300 percent. Some big retailers like Target, Kroger and Stop and Shop now rationing how much each shopper can buy. Publix, a major grocery chain in the South, limiting shoppers to only two items per visit. Included in the long list, hand sanitizer, hand soap, bleach. In New York... But you can't get it on the market. The governor trying to solve shortages and quell anxiety in a rather dramatic fashion. We are introducing New York State Clean Hand Sanitizer made conveniently by the state of New York. That's right. The state now using prison inmates to make hand sanitizer for the public, ramping up the current production of 100 gallons a week. The price? Free. This is attorneys general in several states cracking down on price gougers. Last week, a 12-ounce bottle of hand sanitizer was selling on Amazon for $50, rather than the usual $4.50. Comparing ounce for ounce, that's about 200 times more than the price of gasoline. If you uh, can't find hand sanitizer for less than $80, nothing beats good old fashioned soap and water for 20 seconds under the sinks. And for folks uncertain how to greet each other, what started as a joke, now taking hold. And that's how we say hello now. Yep. Coronavirus contagion, now driving changes in our way of life. So, Carrie, not all hand sanitizers are created equal. So how do you know if you find one that's actually effective in preventing this virus? Well, you know, there's a lot of challenges about trying to find the right hand sanitizer. Some of the home mixtures that you're seeing online don't work. And if you happen to have greasy hands, and we're not talking about car mechanic greasy, we're talking about like you're working in the kitchen or you're in your garden or camping. This is really not going to be effective, according to the experts. Soap and water is your best solution. So for folks who, and I've seen it, people out there going, I can't find it. I'm desperate. Where is it? Just go to the old school. That is your solution. Although, as you heard in our report, there is increasingly difficulty even finding bars of soap, but not as hard as finding this, guys. Mm. All right. Okay. Good yeah. to know. And if you, you do find sanitizer, they say if it has 60% alcohol, yeah. that's yes. the magic number. Right. By the way, that greeting, that foot greeting, I'm more of a fan of the, of the elbow. 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 Yeah. Well, you know, I'm into the I heart. Kinda, I kind of like that. And a little love.